So mistakes next off the line will be the hero with the underpowered tree to a BMW. Paul, can he fire it into the first corner? Look at this. Huge speed. This guy has just wowed us this year in the, in the rookie class. Sitting seventh in the rookie championship. Paul Kennedy takes it over the line, guys. 3 to 8 BMW rocking it out here in Mondello Park. Paul Kennedy really has to give that car absolutely everything. Just just absolutely to get it to negotiate that circuit. And a score for Paul on his first run 54.5. Fourth position for him so far. It's not bad. Not bad after his first run, but I mean, the entries that guy pulls off are just incredible. And next up, as Paul Kennedy takes to the circuit again. Oh, and a big hop for Paul. Oh, and you just see again, Dave, that that drop, just as they come off pit three, if they hit the ground, is just so, so, so severe. That was a big impact. It actually, you can see it. Right across from Paul, guys, he gets out of the car. Big, big impact. And I don't know that front wheel may be. Doesn't look too happy. Drops the helmet there. He seems rather annoyed and understandably so. Paul sitting in 31st position from his first run at 54.5. So, again, another driver hitting hard into that grass. Well, which isn't really grass, it's clay at this stage, I would say. And just, you know, once you dig in, it can do a lot of damage to the car. So, it looks like we'll need a recovery truck once again for Paul Kennedy. I'm just making sure there's no fire under the car here. Yeah, I'm sure just a little bit of steam from the radiator. I'm not too sure if it's a, a fire issue, but we will get the recovery truck out there. And once again, another little bit of delay here in qualifying as drivers, which we've never really seen here before, and he, you know, suffered the consequence of hitting that clay way too hard. Yeah, I mean, we just talked about it when Pete went off there, just cleared it. I think, you know, if you're watching the live stream, you would have seen uh, some of the big drops. Um, after you come off the town and then obviously the brakes and tarmac as well if you were to continue on past clip three so it is very severe and very damaging to these cars and the suspension and steer steering setups if they do negotiate clip three wrong so as I say it is risk and reward in, in every aspect you do take that risk by coming in hard on clip one to two and if you get it wrong clip three you know you will go off and maybe potentially score zero which will also potentially damage your car so you, know, you see Paul, I mean, he's been driving the same way all year. He's been, he's been literally throwing that car as fast and as hard as he'll go into a corner. And at some point, it does bite back, and that's exactly what happened there. He came down the hill, just didn't have the power to, or grip to try and get him out of that sort of a situation. And he hit it hard, so I would imagine some suspension damage on the front left of that 328 BMW. And we will once again recover the car from the course. I'll be back to action in the semi-pro top 32 qualifiers shortly.